Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now today's story is related to a real life incident, a real case of reincarnation, a real case of possession. I know what you're going to say is that possession is nothing, reincarnation is nothing. These are all made up stories. There's nothing as reincarnation, but let me tell you. This particular story had been proven, had been confirmed by University of Virginia, had been confirmed by Institute of Mental Health and Neuroscience Bangalore. So this is not just any story. It is one of the story which has its own witnesses which had been proven. So before I tell you the entire story, if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe it. and if you like the story then please share it with your friends and family so that more people can join the channel and listen to these stories and please do not forget to press that bell icon i upload my stories twice a week so whenever i will upload a story you will get a notification and you will be able to hear that story then and there so let's start with today's story now today's story is related to two women one's name is sumitra singh the other one's name is shiva drivedi Now Sumitra Singh both are the main character but Sumitra Singh is the first main character so let me tell you about Sumitra Singh Sumitra had a very lonely childhood when she was a small child at that point of time her mother died and her father used to stay away from home for work so Sumitra was taken care and brought up by her cousin and Sumitra had a very lonely childhood when she was 17 she got married to a family again she got married to a very poor family and sumitra was not that well educated now the family in which she was married her husband was also poor her uh, she was staying with her father in law mother in law and husband husband used to stay out for work used to travel a lot so again in this particular family also sumitra was very lonely she was an introvert so so she did not had many friends so she had a very lonely life but in the end of 1984 sumitra gave birth to a child so she was very happy now she was no more lonely she had a motive in her life she used to spend time with her child and now let me tell you about this village in 1985 there was no electricity no water supply so women had to travel from one village to another for water so something like this was there in this village too so since this was a very poor village and it was below poverty line so sumitra had to do the same thing every day she used to carry a bucket to another village fill the water and come back now this day sumitra carried her bucket she strapped her child to her chest and she was going to another village for water but meanwhile as she was walking suddenly she went into a trance now she had a uh, sort of seizure in which in this seizure what happened that her body got rigid her hands and legs were rigid her eyes rolled back and uh, she was grinding teeth and she was standing there like that for 5 minutes and these villagers they saw her they came they surrounded her they tried to uh, get her out of this trance but she was in this trance for 5 minutes and after that she came out of it and when she saw so many villagers standing around her so she got embarrassed she picked her, her bucket and her child was also crying by this time so she took her child picked up her bucket and she went back home there she did not tell anyone about this because she didn't wanted to worry her uh, father in law and mother in law now this particular incident was just starting from there onwards she very often used to have these incidents where she used to go in trance her body used to get rigid her eyes used to roll back and this was very often now this is the period of may in may around uh, 17th 18th may something happened where sumitra again was working in the kitchen her child was with mother in law her father in law was standing near the kitchen and suddenly she went into this trance and in this trance she st- uh, started speaking in some other language her eyes rolled back her body got rigid and uh, she was grinding teeth and uh, when father in law saw this he tried to wake her up get her out of this trance but in this particular trance she was there in, for 10 minutes 
and for 10 minutes she was standing in that rigid position and her eyes was rolled back so father in law and mother in law they really got scared and they wrote a letter to their son and they asked him to come back and look after his wife now when sumitra's husband uh, read that particular letter he came back he started taking care of their child and his wife and uh, meanwhile sumitra she was going into these uh, trance more oftenly for a, a longer period of time now what happened after 2 months on 16th of july but before this i let me tell you one more thing happened uh, within this particular trance this particular time in may when she had this trance in the kitchen that she said that she fe- uh, she started shouting for help and uh, she was shouting for help and suddenly before coming out of this trance she said that she can only see darkness now i will tell you why this particular thing is important later on now uh, uh, now july came and in july on 16th of july she went into one of the trance where again her body got rigid her eyes rolled back she started grinding her teeth she sp- uh, started speaking in languages and now within this time period uh, this time of 10 minutes where she was in this trance she said that she will die after 3 days after that she came out of the trance mother in law father in law her husband they all heard this they told her what she was speaking so sumitra also got tensed now the day came on 19th of july uh, they all knew that sumitra has predicted something like this so sumitra was also very careful mother in law and father in law her husband was also very careful they asked sumitra to do nothing and sumitra was doing nothing which could harm her so that day she didn't went into the kitchen to cook uh, neither she was doing anything which could harm her she was sitting in one place by the afternoon when they saw that nothing happened so they became relaxed everybody at her home her in laws were relaxed she was relaxed so after that she decided that nothing happened maybe she was in trance and she said something like this but nothing will happen and it was only a moment when she said so so she thought that it is okay and nothing will happen so she went outside the door of her home and she stood there she was looking here and there and suddenly she saw her friend and she asked her to come this side so when the friend was crossing the road again sumitra went into the trance now this time she was uh, uh, she, her body was rigid her hands and legs were rigid and her eyes was rolled back she was speaking something and uh, suddenly she became quiet and she was just standing like that so after 10 minutes when she did not came out of this trance then the doctor was called from the village and this doctor came he checked her up and he said that uh sumitra had died now people were very sad people were scared they thought that she is been possessed she is haunted she is been possessed so they told their children that nobody will go outside after evening and uh, nobody will play outside alone so uh, now the uh, male of the village they started preparing for the cremation and the females they started uh giving bath to sumitra uh, before the cremation and they started combing her hair but suddenly one of the women when after 45 minutes when she saw sumitra she screamed and other women who was sitting nearby they also saw sumitra and they also screamed and they noticed that sumitra is blinking her eyes and sumitra uh, saw everybody and then she got up and she sat there and she was not moving but she was not recognizing anybody suddenly when the husband and the in-laws they came to know that sumitra is alive they called the doctor from the village doctor checked sumitra and he said that uh, everybody should be happy because Sum- uh, sumitra had come from the place of dead people now she is alive and she is very much alive and nothing happened to her so we should be happy about it so sumitra's 
husband he became very happy he wanted to hug sumitra as soon as he tried to hug sumitra sumitra pushed him and uh, she did not recognize her in-laws she did not recognize her husband she did not recognize her child she recognized nobody now this doctor said that maybe sumitra had suffered so much so maybe she is confused and maybe after one and two days she will start recognizing everybody but after one and two days she started calling herself shiva she said i am shiva i am not sumitra i don't know who you are she started behaving in a different manner she started behaving as if she is a city girl and uh, uh, she started behaving in a very educated manner she said she denied uh, uh, recognizing uh, her husband her in-laws and the baby she was so attached to that baby but now she was no more recognizing that baby and she said that i don't know uh, whose child is this and you are not my husband you are not my in-laws call my uh, she started calling rinku and tinku and call my sons here and uh, um, sumitra's husband he was shocked because he didn't knew what to do and he didn't knew what sumitra is talking about and why she is behaving like this so uh, sumitra's husband he thought that uh, maybe because of the incident which sumitra has suffered because of that she must have suffered some sort of mental problem now uh, people in the village also they were not that worried neither sumitra's husband was that worried their main uh, agenda or main motive was to make sure that sumitra does not hurt herself or does not run away meanwhile sumitra uh, entire day she used to write something and post here and there and uh, uh, she used to call herself shiva she dressed up in a different way and uh, she was not recognizing her child uh, now uh, from july it is october now in the month of october one day there was this man he knocked the door and when she, uh, sumitra's husband he opened the door then this man he was all dressed up in suit he was standing there with a book in his hand when uh, sumitra's husband he asked that who are you he said my name is ramsia and please call sumitra uh, so sumitra's husband said that sumitra does not recognize anyone so uh, this person ramsia he said no you please tell her that i'm here so when sumitra's husband went to sumitra's room and he told sumitra that there is some person called as ramsia out here so sumitra ran to that person she hugged him and she said something in his ears and uh, ramsia got very shocked but then he asked sumitra to sit with him and he told her that you know i got your letter and uh, the letter which you wrote so now sumitra's husband understood that sumitra uh, she used to scribble around so that was not scribbling she was writing some sort of letter and posting it to the people so now this uh, person mr ramsia the book which he was carrying was not a book it was an album he showed that album to sumitra and he said to recognize uh, different photos different people in different photos and sumitra was able to recognize everybody in that photo then next he showed another photo then sumitra was again able to recognize everybody then he showed another photo in which one lady was standing so he showed that photo to sumitra and sumitra and he said that do you recognize this lady and sumitra said yes i do recognize this lady she is my sister in law she hit me with a brick because of which i died now ramsia he hugged sumitra and when sumitra's husband was confused then he told the entire story that i had a daughter her name was shiva dravedi she was well educated she was a bachelor in arts and she was well educated and she got married to one of the family there she was not treated well she was harassed and we believe that uh, they have murdered her but they say that she committed a suicide and uh, ramsi also told that shiva had two sons uh, their name is rinku and tinku and uh, this is the name which she was calling from so many days and he also said that uh, when uh, one day when 
Shiva's father-in-law was carrying Shiva's body. Then people asked that what happened to Shiva, and father-in-law said that Shiva is uh, uh, ill and she is not well, and we are taking her to the hospital. Next day, Shiva's body was found on the track, railway track. When people asked. Uh, Shiva's in-laws about uh, the body. They said that Shiva jumped and uh, jumped in front of the train, and because of which she got hurt. Uh, and then soon she uh, soon they cremated her body, and they informed police that uh, Shiva jumped in front of the train. They did not even wait for Shiva's family. Now police was also like that. They didn't uh, they didn't do any sort of investigation, and they declared that Shiva had an accident. Now, uh, um, now when Sumitra said that uh, no, I was being murdered, and uh, Sumitra, who is now Shiva, so basically she said the no, I was being murdered. I was hit with a brick. My sister-in-law hit me with a brick, and because of which I died. So Ram Sia now heard the entire story. Now this story was spread to media, and many newspapers covered the story because of which. Uh, researchers and scientists from uh, so many uh, universities internationally and nationally they tried to uh, you know um, uh, reach to sumitra and uh, the story was researched they spoke to many witness and many witness said that whatever shiva is saying whatever sumitra is saying only shiva could have known now uh, sumitra was able to recognize all the relatives of shiva without any fault so uh, um, slowly it was established that sumitra uh, as sumitra's body had been possessed by shiva or shiva has reincarnated as sumitra so this was the entire story and uh, this was proven by university of virginia and it was confirmed by institute of mental health and neuroscience bangalore and you can read it online as well so if you like the story please do like and um, uh, please do like and share it with your friends and next week i will come up with another story till then bye